This year is the year of the ox. What's up, fella? You've been waiting 11 years for this. Let's get started. For the month of February, I'm gonna be celebrating Chinese New Year here in Tianjin, and I'm gonna be taking you along with me. So I'm gonna be taking you along with me a couple times a week throughout the month of February on some of my adventures here in Tianjin. What you can expect from me this month is a lot more videos centered around Chinese New Year, hopefully some really cool day trips, as well as more food adventures as we head through this amazing celebration of Chinese New Year. Last year, I vlogged for the seven days before Chinese New Year, and I called it China New Vlog and kind of like it was my vlogmas of Chinese New Year because I really enjoyed doing that. This year, although I won't be vlogging every day, I have decided to call it Vlogs. We are in the year of the ox, and so I thought Vlogs was kind of fun. So, welcome to Vlogs. Shenyanquaila or Nunyanquaila, meaning Happy New Year or Happy Ox Year, everybody. My name is John Thomas. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. This year, I am celebrating Vox, which is a series of vlogs over the month of February. I'm super excited to kick this off. Today, we're going to go explore the biggest tourist attraction here in Tianjin, the Tianjin Eye, which I am scared to death of. If you haven't seen, I just went to a cave recently and had to go on one of those cable cars. I'll link that video up above, but I do not like heights and I've been in the Tianjin Eye once and I can't wait to do it again, kind of. I think the views will be awesome. It's a beautiful blue sky day outside and so we will get there. But before we do, I wanted to share some of my CNY decorations with you. Outside of the fact that I'm wearing this Laughing Cow sweater, but the Laughing Cow is a brand of cheese in the US. And uh, so you can see it here. We've got the Laughing Cow. I think it's perfect for ox year to have the ox on the front or cow and be able to celebrate this way. So, welcome to Vlox. I wanted to share really quick before we headed to the Tianjin Eye some of the Chinese New Year decorations I have this year put up in my apartment. The first of which is this guy. I think he's fantastic. He's got this huge mouth. You can put candy in there. It came with like a, almost like a potpourri or scent thing that you can put in there. But I think I'm gonna put some money in there, like some RMB. Uh, maybe bring some good luck. I feel like this guy is definitely lucky and uh, I think he'll be such a great staple of blocks this year. The second decoration is one of the biggest Chinese New Year decorations I've ever done and when I purchased it I didn't realize that I was gonna have to put it together. But what it is, is it's a bunch of twigs uh, that are dyed red and it is almost like a Christmas tree where you get to hang stuff off of it. And so not only do I have some really fun like fan type decorations on there, but I also have some little ornaments or baubles, if you will, on the tree as well. And this is one of the grandest Chinese New Year decorations I've ever had. So it's gonna sit in the dining room. 
I'm just showing you a little bit because I wanna give you an updated apartment tour at some point within Vox this month. Uh, it's not gonna be 100% done, but at least can give you an update. So stay tuned for that. The other decoration looks very similar to the first one, uh, except that it does, it's not as grand in scale and the twigs are fake and the uh, little uh, plastic <laughs> like balls on it are uh, falling off, quite frankly. Uh, but it's fun, it's kind of like you hang stuff off of it too. So I, I hope it brings me lots of luck in this new Nian. Uh, new year, new Nian. There's a lot of talk about double happiness this year and it just being like double. Double happiness, double joy, double positivity, double rich to all of you. And let's give me some double courage as we head out to the Tinjin Eye. So here I am back at the Tinjin Eye. The last time I was here I think was back in April or May and it wasn't open yet. And that was April and May of 2020 after, you know, the whole COVID situation was still quite fresh in everybody's minds. But it is moving today. I see people in the cars. I'm getting a little nervous just thinking about walking up there. This opened back in April of 2008 and is a staple of the Tinjin skyline. If you look at any kind of photos or pictures of Tinjin, they will show the Tinjin Eye. So let's go check it out. As I'm walking up to it, I'm definitely getting a little bit nervous. I'm, it's not the heights that I'm not necessarily afraid of. I don't mind flying in a plane and, and that kind of stuff. But I think what it is is just kind of dangling, uh, potentially on kind of an unstable object, high in the air, is a little bit freaky to me. So. I'm gonna do my best. I hope I get a car by myself. If not, then maybe we'll meet some people inside one of these cars. So, all right, let's get inside. So I made it into the car, the cabin. It's probably gonna be a little bit echoey in here, but it's all done through WeChat. It's done through kind of an appointment basis, but I've been here before in the peak season and it took forever to get in. I was able to walk right on and I have it to myself, the whole car. <laughs> That's nuts. So I get to have my own panic attack in here. So total cost of this was 70 RMB, which is super uh, inexpensive, maybe like eight or nine dollars. Right now I feel great, we're very close to the ground. I do have my coffee here. Maybe could be a mistake if I have to use the restroom before we actually get back around, but I think it takes about 40 minutes in total. It's actually quite a warm day here in Tingen, over zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit which uh, is lovely out. There's always construction happening here in China. I don't know what they're building here, but it looks quite expansive. So we're not even halfway up yet, and I'm getting a little nervous, but I'm just gonna keep talking to the camera, showing you guys the amazing views. I'm filming a time lapse, so I'm gonna show that to you. Uh, right at the end, so stay tuned for that. That orange bridge is very popular here in Tintin as well. Because I'm here by myself, I'm sitting on the floor, and we are about to reach the top of the Tintin Eye. Oh my gosh. Whew. This is crazy. But what a great way to start Vox, right? Okay, we are about to get to the top, I think, uh, yeah, there's like a car behind me here, there, at the top, top, and I can see the one popping up on the other side.
instructions as well as getting changed. We're almost there. Oh my god. There is like a beautiful temple right there. It looks closed to the public right now. That's pretty awesome. Well, we've almost made it around the Tinjin Eye. I can't believe I did this. This was fun. I think what made it a little bit easier was filming, so I think that that just distracts me a little bit overall. So that was really, really fun. So here's the time lapse of the entire time around the Tinjin Eye. It's very quick. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.